you guys the code table for parts, and specifically part names here in Arctos. So parts in Arctos are considered physical objects. These are things such as skins, tissues, alcohols, fossils, etc. There are a lot of different types of parts and they can be really important because a catalog object can actually have multiple parts associated with it. So if we search within my collection for something interesting, say like a American Kestrel, it brings up all of our cataloged ones. And if I select the information for that cataloged items info page, I can see here the parts associated with it. And it has a skin and a tissue together. And then here's information about the condition and where it is and our marks. So parts can be really important. But how do you choose what part names when you're cataloging should be associated with a cataloged item? And how do you make sure you chose the right name? Because you can't enter whatever you like. Parts names are controlled vocabulary in Arctos. So there's two different ways that I access uh, the code table for parts. And the code table is what tells us that controlled vocabulary. And it also has a whole bunch of other information, which is really helpful. So the first is you can go to the main search page for Arctos. And then under search, you can go code tables. And then if you go down here, almost to all the way to the bottom, CT specimen part name. And that's the one we're looking for to tell us information about the parts and what we can call them. Um, and there's a lot. There's a whole bunch. Uh, the other way I oftentimes access the part table is when I'm either doing data entry or I'm checking somebody's data entry. And I'll actually go through the documentation and the Arctos help uh, documentation. So one way to access that when you're working in Arctos and cataloging, you can go to enter data, data entry. So we're going to enter a new bird record. Here in the data entry page, here are parts. This is where I'd enter that information. And here is documentation. You click on that. It tells us what parts actually are. And then if you click more information, it takes you to the Arctos help page. And this is specimen parts. It tells you again what they are. And then part names. And that's has a link to the code table right here. And we're back at the code table. OK, so orient yourself around the code table. Take a look at what we've got. We've got the part name, and this is the controlled vocabulary. So if you're doing something like bulk loading, this is really important. You want to make sure that you're spelling your part name correctly. Otherwise, uh, the bulk loader may tell you there's a problem. Uh, it has tells you what collection types in Arctos actually use this part name. Some of them have a lot of different collection types that use them. Some of them only have one. Um, is tissue is a really helpful um, column. This actually tells you if this part name is searchable in Arctos after the specimen is cataloged um, when you're looking just for tissues associated with a taxonomy or in a collection. Um, and then documentation. So a little bit of help to figure out what in the world this part name actually means. So if we come down here, sometimes things are pretty self-explanatory. So um, things like bone, bone material, either paleontological or archaeological. So uh, that would be that explanation for what that part name is supposed to mean. Brain and ethanol. It's a brain preserved in unknown concentration of ethanol. Body parts. These are bird herps and teaching collections, unspecified parts of an organism, unknown preservation preparation. Um, so there's a lot of different parts. Uh, it's really helpful to come to the code table to figure out which ones maybe uh, you want to select for your catalog item. But say you only need to look at the parts for your cataloging of herpetological specimens. So for that, you can come over here and we actually have a filter. So click on this, select which collection type you're interested in. So for herps, and then 
hit filter. And then Arctos will bring up just the parts that can be selected when you're cataloging a specimen in your herb collection. So the ones I oftentimes come down here and double check is what different types of parts I have available when I'm talking about whole organisms. Um, so for my fluids, my alcohol specimens. So something like a whole organism is preserved in 70% ethanol. So this is one that we know was preserved exactly in 70% ethanol. And if we notice here under that tissue column, this organism would be searchable by uh, tissues in Arctis. Versus if you choose whole organism preserved in ethanol, this means it's a whole organism preserved in an unspecified concentration of ethanol. Um, and this may or may not be suitable for tissues. So it's not searchable under tissues in Arctis. And so um, oftentimes I'll use this if I don't know what preservation method was done for my fluid organisms. So my name is Beth Womack. Uh, I'm at the University of Wyoming Museum of Vertebrates. I hope that gave you guys a nice overview of the parts code table. <laughs>